<laughs> it's, so it's pretty chilly for mid-April. It's insane. But at least it's not raining. It's sunny. It is very true. Very sunny and beautiful. What did you guys get? Shark teeth. You guys have matching shark teeth necklaces. His is green and mine's orange, so we know. Yeah, that's awesome. So cool. It's good to have different colors so you know who's choose. Yeah. I want the same color. And it's yeah. a real shark tip. It's a real shark tip. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. That's so cool, guys. Oh, gee, that looks fantastic. What is all your pork? Oh. <laughs> He saw the little boy um, before us get a sticker. They're like, you like donuts? And she goes, I like donuts. Can I have a sticker? <laughs> like you got three stickers. That's three hilarious. Stickers. Wow. That is so cool. This is the reason I like sharks. That's the reason you like sharks? Because you can wear a shark tooth necklace? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely hat, Jean. Thank you. One stop down, several more to go. Let's do it. <laughs> bye! You came back. You guys will be happy to know that I am still alive. I did not actually die. Or did I? <laughs> oh my god. This is the ghost of Stephen Miller come oh back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot of people probably didn't see that short and they have no idea what you're talking about. Right <laughs> we made this little video that was supposed to be funny um, because you know that whole joke of like, when people say, what are, what are you doing all day? Or what do you do all day? What do you even do all day? For like husbands stay at home, come home. It's moms. like the worst thing a guy can say in the world. Yeah, and you don't ask the, the stay at home mom, what do you do all day? Because she's doing so many things <laughs> all day long. And uh, so Stephen was like, this would be really funny if we do this little skit where you're working and then you finally sit down and I come in and I'm like, so what did you even do all day? And then it's just like his obituary. <laughs> And uh, apparently a lot of people don't understand Didn't that that's a, a joke. joke yeah. They're like, did Steven die? I'm like, oh my gosh. If I you didn't watch it, you got to watch it. Because we, we kind of thought it was like super obvious. But it's like on our shorts. Really so go obvious. back a couple videos. It's on our shorts. You'll watch it. It's, I thought it was yeah, pretty funny. I thought it was hilarious. But <laughs> I, we did not think that there would be any confusion. I thought it was really, really obvious. Pretty, yeah. So, um, <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, guys. Is that how we're starting this vlog out? I mean, why not? Okay. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. We just went to the farmer's market today, guys. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's so nice, guys. It's not a little raining. Cold. Actually, when you're in the sun, it's not too bad. It feels great when in the you're in the sun. shade. We were like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. But it is beautiful. And so the workers are working on our house right now, which is really loud. And so we're like, yeah. we are going to just, we need to stock up on groceries. Oh, that's the thing we, we didn't. Uh, we did have a pretty big, like, thing happen in yeah. that we were on vacation and uh, came home from vacation and our fridge had completely gone out and no all like it of... hadn't gone out like died it had just like the breaker had switched or something no, no, no. and so it, it was off, off. It that's was what I mean off. all yeah. the food was like rotten and yeah. smelly and slimy and gross I know that sounds disgusting it was disgusting and we had like a really full freezer of like lots and lots of it was really nice bad. food and so we had to throw everything out. So um, we did like a little quick kind of hold me over yeah. type um, grocery haul the other day, yeah. but we uh, we need to stock back up. And so today is the day that yeah. we go buy all of the things and like. But we can't stock up too much again, guys, because you know we're in an RV. So we have the right. one fridge, we have the one small pantry. So we're gonna stock up for what we can do right now. <laughs> and then I'm just so looking forward to that house getting done and yes. us having two large pantries that we can yes. really stock things and that's gonna be awesome. It's but for now, uh, we're gonna go to Costco. We just did the farmer's market. I said that right. Um, we're going to go to Costco. We're going to probably go to Whole Foods, and then Kira really wanted to go to Trader Joe's, and they yeah. opened one of those here recently in the area. So, yeah. lots of different shopping trips. But um, the kids are all with us. They love these kinds of shopping. It's so trips. fun, like so. especially the farmers market. It's just such a fun kind of family experience. I feel like, yeah. and you know, and they love going to Costco as well, so that they can stock up on all their snacks for school. And yeah, I really like going to the farmer's market and like walking around and checking out all the different yeah. vendors. This Amish family here sells us the milk and they're so yeah. nice. So, so nice. So they're nice. So it is really cool. I, I would love to like 
visit an Amish community sometime and just kind of see their way of life. Cause we should. I'm always so intrigued by just the different way that people yeah. live life. And obviously like our family is very diverse yeah. and it's because we love diversity. We think it's so beautiful. And so it's really cool to kind of just see the, the different ways that people live. Um, but yeah, it's enough talking for now. We have lots of groceries to get <laughs> and lots of children to feed. Are you guys ready to do some more grocery shopping? I am. Yes, we are. They have Nashville hot chicken here at Whole Foods that is so good. They usually don't have it, so the fact that they have it, Steven's stocking I'm up like, for me. There's not very much, so I'm like, gonna get it all. Why not? That's awesome. Wow, Dad. Shinobi's like, yes. You're, you'll you'll want to eat some too. Yeah, it's really good. What did you get? Ooh, mac and cheese. That's so yummy. Of healthy stuff and we're in the ice cream section hey, whose wow. idea was this <laughs> wow. a little decaf Aha. for you baby thank you good sir yeah we need all the coffee today i'm actually not drinking a lot of coffee but on this day of lots of shopping with lots of children yeah i'll take some coffee all right well i've got one as well so we can cheers cheers to a great cheers. love to last a lifetime and to lots of food for lots of children <laughs> yeah that too <laughs> Our second <laughs> stop wait, wait. of the day. You got it? Look, look, look. We cheers. all gonna cheers to this? Ah. Uh, right, three, two, one. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> we are at the last Go. stop of the day. Costco! Yeah. It's our favorite place, guys. Our favorite Costco. place. Link, are you ready to go in? <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> Linky's riding a horsey. <laughs> oh, it's boots. Uh oh, we lost the shoe. We lost the shoe. <laughs> That's Thanks, crazy. There, say thank you, brother. Wow. Remember when we had an awesome TV that fit in our, our house? <laughs> Our TV one is day. bigger than the RV. Yeah, one day we'll have a house to put it in again. <laughs> Just in time for Christmas. You gonna hold it? Oh. oh. You give a you kiss. kiss. Oh, that's oh, a good kiss. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, and messy. They have a pack of the chocolate eggs. eggs that you like. They have a, an entire pack of them. An entire pack? 12 eggs. Wow, that would last you like two weeks. You found her favorite snack. Delightful, that's a huge bag. It's huge, that's why I picked it up. <laughs> I love that they've got samples here again. That makes me really happy because it was very sad when Costco didn't have samples. What do you think? <laughs> that side eye, he's like, don't watch me while yeah. I do it. Is that good? Oh, you were thirsty, huh? Is that yummy? Oh, those oh, are those good. Are so have good. you guys seen these? These are one of our favorites, they're cashew like clusters. Crack. They're really good, so and I don't even like cashews. They're, they're really so good. good. We always start out in the snack section, and I feel like that's a mistake because we end up buying like five hundred dollars worth of snacks. <laughs> probably could do like the produce and stuff, Maybe first, so. and then the snacks. <laughs> Nothing stands in the way of a girl and her oh, it's jerky. jerky. <laughs> What's that? What you gonna get? That's turkey jerky. Then you got pork jerky. Then you got beef jerky. All kinds of jerkies. I would take this. You can get the pork jerky, Korean barbecue. Ooh, that sounds good. A shot. Get it. Get a shot. Let's go. Dancing girl. <laughs> That's like the best we got we could get. Yeah. I forgot that they have like all the samples out on Saturdays because we usually don't come. To oh yeah, Costco it's a Saturday. On Saturdays. So it's busy, but the kids are all like, yes, so many samples. <laughs> <laughs> a sample for salad dressing. A sample for salad dressing? Wow. Yeah. Just by itself? And Doritos. Oh, Doritos and salad dressing? No, no. no there's, a, there's, a, there's one for salad, salad dressing, dressing and, and there's a sample for Doritos. Wow. Yeah. That's the amazing. best.
This looks amazing. What is it? Feta stuffed pepperoncini duo. Oh wow. So I think okay. we should get that. Okay. They brought my favorite kombucha. <laughs> one of my favorites, but. Dude, it's so good. They're sweet. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Did you find some more? Oh. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Linky found a strawberry. Linky found a strawberry. <laughs> He's like, I have to have my snacks, you know. I gotta have my snacks. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna eat some stuff before we check out. <laughs> He's just taste testing it for us. He's our official taste tester. This is your family job, right? Your family position? Nine bowls and they're gluten free. Wow. Okay. That sounds cool. With a car full of groceries, like many, many, many groceries, all the way back there. Were, were we supposed to get this? Uh, yeah, I told you that he could have those for his Okay, school. how did <laughs> I'm sure there's some things that made their way in there that weren't planned, but uh, you know. All right, the kids are gonna help me carry all this in. We can sort it out, go through it real quickly, and put it away. Yeah, you guys all have big muscles. I believe in you. The pineapple peach one is so good. Wait, where are you pineapple going with that? Pineapple peach. Where are you going with He's that? He's like, I'm going to where the food is. Oh, oh you can help me put all the groceries away? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm so surprised. He loves salad that so is... much. That's like one of his favorites. Anytime it's we have salad, drink. that's like his number one choice. I think he likes the crunchy like texture of yeah. the lettuce. So Steven's gonna try out these little pepperoncini peppers that he saw at Costco <laughs> before we jump into the hall. Yeah, Let they us know. I was gonna say, like, as we were checking out, I was telling Amanda how grateful I am that maybe the thing I love most about Costco is that there are no like impulse buys at the cash register yeah. at Costco. Mm -hmm. But then Amanda was like, that's because every aisle has an impulse yeah. buy at the end of it. And yeah. case in point, I saw these like pepperoncini stuffed peppers mm -hmm. in olive oil, and it just looked like a delightful Greek treat. So let us know so, if it's good so we can recommend it to you guys a, a taste all of our test. subscribers or not. No, no, no. Take the first bite. <laughs> I think we just dripped some on the ground. Mm. Verdict? That's good. Really? That's really good. All right, if you are Costco people, the pepperoncini peppers are good. So good. According to Steven. I'm so down. This is my yeah, new obsession. Yeah. yeah, you got your kombucha? This is going to be my new obsession. Jeez. Awesome. Wow. Very cool. That's and amazing. That's a healthy snack too, so yeah. there you go. Okay guys, so we have a lot of groceries laid out on basically every surface available here to show you guys from Costco, from a little bit from Trader Joe's, which I didn't film in there, um, and from the farmer's market. Yeah, and from Whole Foods. So we'll go through this real quickly and then I'll get it put away. What did you find? Good, oh, some right? mushrooms. You do Try. like mushrooms, but we're gonna cook these before we eat them, okay? Ew. <laughs> Everyone's getting a quick little bite before they go out. What do you think? It's so good, right? That's good. Good? Uh -huh. That's so good. I need to knock them. Yeah, I know. They're, they're a little messy. They're a little they're messy. They're so good. Okay, guys, so really quickly, I wanted to show you what we got from the farmer's market. And we didn't pick up that much stuff there because we knew we were going to be stocking up at Costco and Whole Foods and all of that. But we've got a few things there that we couldn't find anywhere else. And so I'm really excited, especially about the raw milk. That's so something good. our family has drank for years. And I love it. It's easier to digest. I think the kids say that they like the taste it of it more. It just tastes so good. Yeah, there's a lot of health benefits if you want to look into it. But um, we really like raw milk. I know it can be kind of hard to find, but a lot of farmer's markets have it. So I was really excited to see that. Um, as well as some fresh pickles and our family loves pickles so much so we got some of that as well as some peach preserves that the kids are going to use on their sandwiches and all of that i love all things peach and I yeah. think especially like in the springtime, i just feel like oh i just love it so much so we're picking up like peach preserves peach butter um we had peach ice cream the other day at so the um, at the on the way down to florida yeah on spring break yeah and um all that so that was really good and then steven tasted some of the like 
raw honey. It's like a spicy raw honey. It's really, really good. Did you like it? Yeah. The kids mm -hmm. tasted it too. I think most of them liked it. Um, but that's really cool. Reese is in love with hot honey, so I got it so that we could like have like a charcuterie board or something like yes. that. Yes. That'd be fun. Yeah, because Reese will be here next week, or actually, yeah. that's this week, isn't that's it? That's this weekend. Well, well today's Saturday. So. Okay, yeah. So next but it'll week. be this week when they're watching the video. Yeah, she'll be here for Easter in, in a week, so yeah. um, I'm excited about that. And then these are so cool. Dang. You guys see these little purple um, and white carrots? I've seen some really cool recipes for like roasted carrots yeah. and that are like kind of heirloom like this, and so I wanted you to know, try that out. Soon. Fun story. All carrots used to be purple. I know, Stephen was telling me that the other day. Did you guys know that? Carrots did not, they weren't orange originally, they were no, actually purple. They were genetically, so. not not like, I don't know how they did it exactly. They did it with like the seeds, like selective, yeah, cro yeah mm -hmm. to make them orange because the king's hair was orange or something like that and they wanted to like honor the king That's or his scary. favorite color was orange or some kind of weird story like that. But it's a really cool That's, story. Uh, really apparently now all carrots are, are orange, yeah, but, but they, they didn't, didn't used, used to, be. to be. That's so funny. Um, okay, another thing that we got there is some fresh bread. There was um, a guy there that had like a bunch of different kinds and so this was the rosemary ciabatta mm -hmm. bread. And uh, so I think we'll probably eat that tonight with some sort of dinner and um, just so that it stays really fresh Put or whatever. Put a little gold on it and some of that hot honey. Yeah. Maybe Steven, some of those peach preserves. Although I don't know about the rosemary with that, but. Yeah, I don't, well maybe. actually I think some people pair yeah. peach and rosemary yeah. together. I think it can be good. Maybe it's right. So it's I'm gonna just idea. give that a shot. I'm gonna <laughs> put the actual um, farmer's market stuff away real quickly because I don't want the raw milk to be out. But then everything else I'll show you in just a second. So let's go through the rest of this really quickly. We got a bunch of mozzarella. This is a two pack bag here for various recipes as well as cheddar jack and we'll use that on quesadillas and that kind of thing. Um, we got a big thing here of chicken that we'll use for multiple dinners as well as a large thing of pork and Stephen will probably smoke that at one point but we'll probably put that in the freezer for now. Um, a two pack of bacon, that's a lot of bacon. We'll probably use some of this for Easter brunch because we'll be cooking um, brunch on Easter morning. Um, and then a large thing here of organic blueberries that we throw into our smoothies um, and just keep it in the freezer. Um, this is Penelope's choice. She really loves jerky. You guys know she loves jerky. And so they had this big Korean barbecue one, as well as some portobello mushrooms. Penelope's a huge fan of mushrooms. So is Steven. Um, about half of us like mushrooms. So we'll use that probably for some sort of recipe there. Um, and then some probiotic smoothies that the kids will take in their lunches. Usually we'll just put these in the lunch boxes or have them after school, but this is a 12 pack of those. Uh, and then in the mornings we like to do a sausage. And so this chicken sausage is an easy thing that we can just kind of keep in the freezer and pull out when we need to and then a big box of Kerrygold we still have some in the fridge but we go through Kerrygold a lot and I think that's four bars so we'll go through that pretty quickly um, but this should last us probably about a week or so and then organic hard-boiled eggs this is so convenient guys I know you can hard boil your own eggs but sometimes just for convenience sake we'll go ahead and pick these up and um, Lincoln will eat them Penelope loves them she'll put these on like basically anything she makes she loves to put eggs on top of uh, and so it's just is really really convenient to keep these on hand and then Kira wanted to have this for dinner tonight obviously we'll have a lot more with it but this can be kind of like a side salad for us just a, a basic Caesar salad from Costco and Ethan was really excited about these he loves these little chocolate kinder eggs and so we got some of those he can just put those in his lunch boxes or have them after school that kind of thing and then we love this kettle corn the kids love to eat this so they'll take a little bit of that in their lunches or else after school again um, and then these are really great to keep on hand in the freezer this is a huge huge bag this will last us like a month actually and then we can just kind of pull these out for various uh, recipes and that kind of thing or sometimes we'll just kind of put them on the side with other other things and so um, yeah that that really lasts us a long time and then the girls saw this today we've never actually bought this one so if you have tried this from Costco let us know what you think but the girls were really excited to try this they love all kinds of noodles and so we're generally picking up some sort of noodles when we go to Costco and Stephen really likes these this is low carb it's just kind of egg and turkey and cheese and these are in the freezer kind of individually wrapped and so that's an, an easy thing to kind of pull out when we need to and then the kids love to take chips in their lunch box this is something that really this year we've started doing because I really like to push like the fruits and vegetables as um, snacks but we have been compromising a lot and so I'm letting them kind of choose a little bit of junk food as well and so they'll do their fruits and vegetables as well as some chips and so that's kind of their chips of choice and then this is one of my favorite kinds of kombucha the Kavita 
pineapple peach is really good, especially if you mix just a little bit into sparkling water so it's not super sweet. It's really refreshing. I really like the flavor of that one. And then the kids really like Izzy's, which is just a sparkling juice. Um, and they can choose one of these a day. We have to put a limit on it or they'll like devour them all really quickly. So we say that the kids could each have one a day and this is like a variety pack. So everyone's happy with that. And then from Whole Foods, the girls really like these noodle soups and there's a few different flavors here, but they really like to kind of have those. And then the kids really love these Olipops. We actually bought quite a few more of these, but the kids all had one in the car after we did our grocery shopping. And so they've got various flavors, root beer and cola and stuff like that. So um, that's like a low sugar option if you don't want to do like traditional sodas and it's like probiotic and all that. So the kids really like that. Um, we've got a couple of new sparkling waters. Stephen wanted to just try this brand. We don't normally get that brand, but um, he wanted to try that out. So that is a new one. And then I really, really love this green tea. This is like a Chinese green tea. I love this flavor, but it does have a little bit of sugar in it. So I haven't been buying a bunch of them because I'm trying to do a lot less sugar, but I went ahead and picked up one because I just really, really like that one. And these are our favorite kinds of pickles. If you're going to do store-bought pickles, I really love the Grillo's pickles. It's got lots of garlic in them. And this is like a huge pack of them from Costco. So that'll probably last us a couple of weeks. And I was really excited to see these from Costco as well. These are like super teeny tiny little baby pickles. Um, and so I might chop those up and do that cucumber kimchi recipe that we showed you guys a while back. I really love that. And then the kids will also just probably snack on these. They can dip it in hummus and you know, that kind of thing. But those are so cute. I love that. And then even though we got the peach preserves, Jude really likes strawberries. So we got a big thing of strawberries as well so they can do their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then Lincoln really loves this chicken salad. It comes in little individual cups. So I think there's eight of them. And so that's a really easy thing to feed him. And it's pretty low carb, which is, we're trying to keep him on low carb. He hasn't been strict on keto. Uh, more recently but we have actually seen like a few little seizures kind of popping up and so we're trying to get back on low carb for him as well as his seizure meds and so um, this is a really easy thing to keep on hand for that and this is one of our favorite things from Costco these cashew clusters they are so so good I'm not even a cashew fan but these are really delicious they are sweet but just a couple of those at a time are so so good and this is Reese's favorite so we went ahead and picked this up since she's gonna be with us next week and we can kind of send her home with some of her favorite snacks she really really likes those from Costco and these these are from Trader Joe's, but Ethan loves little peanut butter sandwiches, and so we'll put those in his uh, lunchbox. And this is Jude's all-time favorite. He loves these plantain chips that are from Trader Joe's. They're really inexpensive too. I think it's like $1.99 for a bag, uh, but he really likes these. It's kind of an alternative to, um, to traditional chips, but he really, really likes those. So we went ahead and picked up like four or five uh, bags of those. And then we got some heavy cream. We'll use just a little splash of that in cold brew. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of coffee because I'm trying to cut back on caffeine, but occasionally in the afternoons I'll have like a very small cup of cold brew. And this is our favorite, the La Colombe. It's a really delicious one and it's honestly not expensive. I think it's like $5.99 or $6.99. So a pretty good price on that. And then I saw these at Trader Joe's. They always have the cutest little seasonal things. This is like little chocolate mousse eggs for Easter. How cute are those guys? I thought those were really cute. So I just wanted to pick up one of those and we'll probably open these next week when my parents are in town for Easter and we can just kind of enjoy a little treat together. And then this is one of Ethan's favorites too. I didn't honestly see him put that in the basket, but I'm not surprised because he really does like the cheddar bunnies. It's kind of an alternative to a traditional goldfish, but it's not GMO and they're organic. So just slightly healthier, I guess. <laughs> and then I got a couple of bags of Honeycrisp apples at Trader Joe's. They're like, I think it's $2.99 or $3.99 a bag. So it's a pretty good deal. And I like that they're smaller in size. So the kids will actually finish the apples because I hate when I buy big apples and then you just find apples all around the house or all around the RV that just have like a few bites taken out of it. So these are the perfect size for the kids to actually finish an entire apple and not be putting any to waste. And then this is one of the kids' favorite yogurt cups. We haven't gone to Trader Joe's that much recently, um, but when we do go, they really like this peach flavored. Again, like I've been saying, peach everything. We love peach everything. So peach and mango flavored little yogurt cups here. They'll take those in their lunches or have them after school. And then a little bit of carrot juice. I love putting this in smoothies um, or I don't really like to drink it on its own, but in smoothies especially, it's pretty good. So I'll use that as kind of a base. And here's another low carb snack for Lincoln. He really likes these little cheese bites. Um, and those are like $2, maybe $2.50 each. And so that's pretty inexpensive for a bag of that. And then a two pound thing of strawberries will probably last us about a week or so, maybe less. Um, but we had a little bit in the, in the fridge already. So we went ahead and just picked up one of these larger packs there. And then I saw these at Trader Joe's as well. And I thought this would be really fun to have on the table for Easter brunch. It's a little sparkling berry lemonade. 
Um, I thought the kids would think that's really special. So just a few little treats for Easter that I wanted to have out um, for our Easter brunch. And then another thing for Easter that I saw online recently on Instagram, where you take these little cinnamon rolls and you kind of unravel the top and make it into little bunny ears. And they're like the shapes of little bunnies. So I thought that'd be really fun to do for Easter brunch as well. I went ahead and picked up three of those because there's five of them in there. So we can have some little bunny shaped cinnamon rolls and that would be pretty easy. I'm not trying to do a lot of stuff from scratch for Easter this year because again, we're in an RV. So I'm trying to keep it pretty simple, but I feel like that would be um, a really fun thing to do instead of like making pancakes from scratch and stuff like we do most years, um, but still keeping it pretty special for Easter. And then Kira wanted some pesto. She has a recipe that she's wanting to make. So she wanted to get some pesto. And then a couple things of this organic pie crust. Guys, a lot of times if you get organic, it's not enriched, which is what I'm looking for because uh, with my MTHF Far, I'm not supposed to have enriched grains because that's synthetic folic acid and I really need like the natural folate kind and so I, I really need to stay away from, from the synthetic stuff. So I get a lot of organic. So this is a great option for a pie crust but I can also use it for like chicken pot pie and that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and picked up a couple boxes there that I can use and then of course Steven's pepperoncinis that he said were so delicious. And Lincoln really likes pepperoni, so he'll snack on a few of those. It just got a little bag for him this time. And then I love these from Whole Foods, little aloe vera bites. I have never tasted them on their own, but they're really easy to throw into smoothies. And I know that aloe vera is like super healing for you, really healthy. And so I'll keep that in the freezer and just throw a little bit in when I make smoothies. And then a couple more things of mushrooms and bean sprouts and stuff that Penelope likes to um, use into some of her recipes. She does like a lot of stir fries and uh, things like that. And then we just got this little mixing of berries, which honestly I was planning on feeding Lincoln in the store because sometimes he gets like a little overwhelmed with all of the selection and stuff. And so um, it's nice to kind of have something we can pop into his mouth if he's getting kind of stirred up. But he did really well in the store today, so he didn't actually really need to have any snacks broken open. I guess we actually did open one of them at the very end. I don't remember which one it was, but he did really, really well. So I'm really proud of him. Oh yes, yeah, so this is what we opened for him, these gluten-free pretzel sticks. And again, this is because I can't do the enriched grains, and so gluten-free can be a really great option for me. Um, but we did open these, and he had a couple just at the very end there to kind of hold him over as we were trying to check out. And then last but not least, over here we got a watermelon, which is Penelope's favorite, Lincoln's favorite, all the kids love watermelon and um, so we'll have some of that they really like these brioche hot dog buns as well these are super delicious they're like baked fresh I think at Whole Foods and uh, we go through a lot of organic tortillas we have a bunch in the fridge and we had just used them last night so I just got a couple of those for this week to hold us over and then this is Liam and Ethan's favorite little snacks and Lincoln can do this as well because it's pretty low carb but um, nuts and fruit and that kind of stuff um, and cheese and the, there's like a whole bunch of these how many are in there? There's 16 of these in this box, and so that will last us a couple weeks for snacks right there. A few more bananas. We have some in the pantry, but we need a little bit more. And we go through these Hebrew National hot dogs. They're like all beef hot dogs, so a little bit healthier than traditional kinds. And there's a four pack in there. And this was, I think, $13, which is a pretty good price because if you go to the store and you get one, I think it's like $4.99. So that is really, really good to get four of them for that price. And then this is Jude's favorite kind of yogurt. He really loves the strawberry whole milk yogurt. We try to do whole milk, not, um, not low fat because a lot of times when you get low fat, it is more processed and there's a lot more sugar added. And so we try to stick with whole milk stuff, but he did get the strawberry kind. So that does have some sugar in it. A lot of times we'll kind of do like the plain and add a little bit of maple syrup. But again, we're going for easy lately. And so that's kind of what we've been sticking to lately. And then a bunch of these little broccoli florets. There's multiple bags inside this big bag. We'll just keep that in the freezer and pull it out for recipes. And Kira's favorite is asparagus. So she picked up some of that. Um, and then these are really good little gluten-free things to keep in the freezer. Truffle mac and cheese bites, they're really, really good. And you can throw these in the air fryer. It's super easy to just crisp them up really quickly. And then from the same brand, I haven't actually tried these, but I love anything that's buffalo flavored. So we got a couple boxes of this. Jude was really excited to try this. So we got a couple of those and then that's it. Wow. So I need to go ahead and put this away really quickly. Steven just ran to the pharmacy because we realized that Lincoln was out of his seizure meds and the pharmacy closes in like 30 minutes. So he ran over there really quickly to pick that up. So I'm just going to put all this away while the kids are playing outside. And then we're probably going to take it easy the rest of the day. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine, cook something for dinner, something easy probably. And um, yeah, just take it easy. Okay, so Steven's back and Steven Miller. It was 
quite the challenge to organize the fridge and the freezer in such a way I to bet. actually fit all these groceries in. I think we keep forgetting that we don't have hardly Cambridge. any space now. <laughs> and uh, our eyes this get store. as big as our stomach because yeah. we get hungry when we go. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, there's a lot of this that can be put into the pantry, yeah. but I'll I had to do a lot of organizing. Yeah, this is I the last thing. I smoke this up tonight. I was literally thinking that. I was like, this is the last thing. It is not going to fit. So we're just going to have to like cook it tonight yeah, and eat it. That's okay. So that's okay. We'll eat that with the Caesar salad and the fresh bread well, from the farmer's market. Yeah. Sound good? I can heat the bread up on the smoker too. Ooh. That's, that's nice. A nice idea. That's that nice. That's a nice idea. That's nice. <laughs> So when I say that the fridge is full to the brim, I mean literally full to the brim. There's like not space for anything else. I guess we could technically put something right there in the corner. <laughs> but that is pretty full. So yeah, barely, barely made it. So we have a very large amount of meat. Why did we buy this much of it? That's like it was lot. $12 at Costco. Oh, we're all yeah, growing. It's and, it's at and we have grade. growing children. It's it's we're eight, growing it's... older. You guys are getting really older. <laughs> We're getting really old, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so really we'll all we'll eat two, and he can do something different. I'm just saying, I love pork. You get pork. salad for dinner, Jude. Just for that comment. <laughs> if you don't know, just I for that. love pork. Do you? So. I think everyone in the family is yeah. pretty big pork fans, yeah. right? Oh, does that smell good, Lincoln? He's like sniffing the smoke. Okay. Yeah, don't get your mouth so on I it, though. I the wrong week to quit sniffing pork. <laughs> Wait. That's a movie quote, but <laughs> it's obviously been uh, personalized. Oh. Yeah. Ready? Three. Set. Two. Go. 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 Oh, no. It's like, I'm going to win. So I'm going to win. Don't go into the construction, though. It's like, not a lot of space to run right now with all these boards and everything around here. What are you doing over there? Ethan is tying something to our Christmas lights that are still wrapped around the tree. Um, but actually, we were planning on leaving these up anyways because they're white lights and it kind of adds a little ambiance. But what are you tying to the, to the lights here? It's a uh, egg that, that you basically oh. you know, go like this. Like a little. And then you can like put it on your tree. Oh, that's cool. And it's like decoration, basically. A little decoration, basically. Mm -hmm. um, is that from your Kinder Egg? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh! oh so close. <laughs> oh! Good job, Linky. Can you try it again? Try this one. Try this one. Ready? Oh, that is lighter. Wow! You can throw that one a lot further, huh? Okay, guys. So we're gonna close this little grocery haul out and finish grilling dinner. Guys, don't you love this easy. shirt? She's wearing. I love this. I'm like. I like your All shirt. All day long, I'm thinking. You look, I love it. You look good too, baby. You look good, kid. You look, you look sensational. <laughs> oh, we're the same person. Oh my god. We have been married long enough now that I know all of the things that are gonna pop into his head, especially all the movie <laughs> quotes and things. I just know just when something's gonna turn into. I just, I just, I just know when something's gonna turn into a movie quote, which is like every ten minutes with him, <laughs> or but, more. <laughs> but we are actually saying the same things at the same time so it's much awesome. lately. It's hilarious. Um, it's gotta be the RV. Maybe so. Real it's gotta be the quarters. fact that we work together full time now. It's awesome. Yeah, and the fact that we've been married almost twenty years. 20 but it's years, gonna man. be nineteen years in May. Oh, so that's amazing. And the next year is gonna be the big twenty, which is amazing. I'm like. I was just looking at Airbnb and VRBOs in. Glacier National Park. Were you? <laughs> just like just now. I think we might kind of do something a little simple this year and just keep it, you know, just low key. But then next year for our 20 year, I'll, I really want to do something special and renew our gonna... vows in Italy. I already popped the question awesome. like last two, two years ago. That's right. And they got I popped busy the with question and, and then the world shut down. Yep. And then we moved and now, you know. But I do, We're I love the idea. House. Yeah, I love the idea of renewing our, our, our RV. Renewing, renewing our, our RV vows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're tired, guys. We're so tired. I love the idea of renewing our vows on our 20 year anniversary. In Italy. In the, Italy would be amazing. On the Malfi Coast. Like Italy's the, like the bucket list. Oh, that's, yeah. I would love to take the whole yes. family, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. I'm just gonna, that's just like. But we digress. Hope you like this grocery haul. <laughs> hope you love the grocery haul, guys. Really? And we love you so much. Yeah. And uh, we will have an update on the, all the house stuff. I'm like, we're waiting just for a few more things to kind of finish up over the next week. Yeah. Um, but that will be coming soon. Yes. 
and obviously Easter. I'm really excited about that. Just spending Easter with our family and doing an Easter egg hunt here on the new property. Yes. And uh, so yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. We love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging with us and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. 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 Can, you say, can you say bye? Bye. Love you. Say love you guys. Bye. They are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves me. Loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. You sing it? The Bible tells me so. Good job! For your name's sake. You will lead me back home to you God, for your name's sake You will lead me back